Hello everyone, Moran McKay here and welcome to another Skyrim mod review. Today we are doing the Sword of Cowood by Raphael Dijon. I hope I pronounced all those words right. Okay, so when you install it, it uh, it adds this it adds a single sword to the iron category here in your crafting. So it's equal to about, it's a little bit more powerful than than a two-handed greatsword, or a little less, and more powerful than a single-handed iron sword. And so let's go out in the sunlight and take a look at this baby, shall we? Okay, so here we are outside. Get a close-up of this this sword. Oh, that was weird. I had a little too close to my helmet and it disappeared. I don't know if you can see it from here. Uh, I'll, you can see it probably better in first person, but there's runes on the inside of the blade. Carved on the inside of the blade. we get a better look when I go into first person. But this sword is actually based on a historical sword that was found in an archeolo archeolo archaeological dig uh, in England. And I think it's really well done. Uh, you only need the iron smithing perk, and you can get it early game, and it really blends well into vanilla Skyrim. So if you're a history buff or you just like these kind of swords, it's got a Viking kind of look to it. I would definitely go check this one out. Let's, let's look at it. Where's that? Where's that? There we go. There you see the runes carved into it. Alright, so now we're in first person. You can actually see the runes that are inscribed on the blade. And there you have it, the Sword of Kylewood. I would suggest, if you like these kind of swords, go check it out. As always, I will put a link to the mod in the description. And I will see you guys later.